Uh, I'm Dr. Pankaj Sarange. I'm the director of IPC India, that is Intervention Pain and Spine Center. And we have branches uh, all over India. Currently, we have five branches in Delhi, we have in Gurgaon, Vishakhapatnam, Hyderabad, and in Jambu. IPC India specializes in pain management and uh, we are specialized in uh, spine pain interventions. So why we are more into spine, we are focusing into spine because we have seen a lot of uh, problem facing the, our young population which is facing the spine problem. And the main reason we have found that it is basically because of long prolonged sitting hours, prolonged diving, lack of exercises, hardly any time to exercise. So these are the main factors along with that environmental factors. Now for spine, as we know that a lot of people are suffering from the disc prolapse or in the uh, simple term, name and term we call it as a slip disc. So for slip disc, earlier we had option of conservative management in the form of physiotherapy, medications, rest. And if that is not helping, the other option was surgery, open surgery. Now as I just mentioned, a lot of young people are suffering from this problem. They, everybody cannot undergo these kind of surgeries and we know the limitations of the surgeries and what all uh, factors which affect the surgery also, post-surgery also, there are some failures also of the surgeries. So we cannot, we cannot uh, let them undergo this kind of surgery, spine surgeries at the very young stage. So let me give you some examples what all we can do with the spine interventions. Suppose somebody is suffering from the slip disc, which is a very, very big problem. So for slip disc, now we don't have to open the spine. Now we can go with the endoscope, we can target the fragment and we can remove the fragment from the inside with just a maybe one centimeter of incision. Similarly, a lot of uh, uh, old age patients, they are suffering from osteoporotic fractures because their bones are weak. Now, if, we, if these patients undergo spine surgery, the fixation is required. For fixation, we need rods and screws, which has to go inside the spine. Now, already the spine was osteoporotic, that means weak. In this, if we add implants inside, there are a lot of problems with these patients suffer. And there were a lot of failures because of the implant displacement also. Now, for these kind of problems, we have a vertebroplasty where we can go with a just a small half centimeter incision, we can go inside to the target uh, fracture and we can fix it from inside. So the advantage of the spine interventions, as I mentioned, since we don't have to open the spine, so you can understand with a small incision, if we are doing any, the same procedure with the small incision, the post-operative morbidity is very less. We can admit the patient same day and we can discharge the patient same day. Same day evening or the next day morning, we'll make them mobile. Another important thing is the success rate. The success rate is very, very high. As compared to surgery, the success rate of these interventions is very high. So there are many myths which are uh, in the community. So please don't go by those myths. Please follow us on uh, Instagram or the Facebook, on our websites. We have facts available for all these myths. So please don't worry about your spine problem, you are in safe hands. We have other options available other than surgery and the conservative management in the form of spine interventions.